but it is a difficult system. I think and you're actually asked about directions or guidance to Ms Campbell. I'm happy to respond. We'll go right ahead. Um, Mr Morrison, are the contents of both statements true and correct to the best of your knowledge and belief? The items that are not redacted are true, but I cannot say that that redacted statement is a complete and comprehensive statement. I think the question was just true and correct, really, not completion. But I think we grasp your position. What I'm simply saying, and by the way, that bill is now 50 billion, not 12 when it comes to the NDI. Mr items. Morrison, can I just get you to stick to answering the question a bit more? I do understand that you come from a background where rhetoric's important, but uh, it is necessary to listen to the question and just answer it with that extra detail, unnecessary detail, if you could. Commission. Thank you. I have, I have said in my response to the memorandum, and if I go to that first well, recommendation, I think you're wandering a bit because all I'd asked was had you talked about it before you got it. So perhaps if we leave it to Mr Gregory I to see. I apologise, Commission. I was, I was sort of actually going back to the question that the Council was, was putting. Um, well, I'll leave it to Mr Gregory to ask it again. Or... It says it's redacted here. Yes. Um, and we, are we allowed to refer to redacted, Commissioner? Well, material? I think it's just for um, privacy. The email addresses have been removed generally. But what Mr Gregory is saying to you, he had a DSS email all address. Right, okay which I might suggest he was associated with the department. I want to be careful not to <laughs> transgress your ruling. <laughs> well, this is not so much my ruling. In fact, uh, it's not part of my ruling. It's okay. just simply not giving people's phone numbers and email addresses. I just want to be careful yep. to treat the so redacted material appropriately. Are there any material differences between this document and the ones that you've contained in the tender bundle of documents? Mr Morrison, better if you just wait for the questioning. Oh, okay. Sorry. Now, if you go to the last page there... Mr Morrison, I'm not going to the last page. I've well, asked I'm, a I'm question and you've given an answer. Question. But you and, already and, have, Mr and, Morrison. Well, the, the, the answer's no. You, well, you've given your answer. Yeah. Because no legislation was required. That was the clear advice from the department. Again, you may take it that we are going to go through these docu documents in sequence. Happy to. The last 10 minutes has been consumed because the simple answer no to my question about did you ask why these things weren't provided to you, has strayed off in other areas, which we will come to. You can be assured you will get every opportunity to address the contents of the final new policy proposal, including the due diligence checklist. I'm available to the Commission. Well, you might not be available tomorrow. No, I'm, and if we keep I, spending time like this, it will be. take considerable time. I'm happy to be available tomorrow and the day after. All right. A review would be undertaken. Are you listening at all? I am, absolutely. Good. Thank you. Well, that's so look, I've given you a good deal of leeway on this. I had one more point, if I may. All right, one more. Um, also, in a subsequent statement by the then Minister, he tabled two documents, and these were form letters from I'm the... I'm sorry, Commissioner. Um, this is a matter that is trespassing into parliamentary privilege territory. Mr Morrison, you do understand about parliamentary privilege, don't you? Of course I do. Good. OK, well, we'll wait to see these documents in some non-privileged form. Perhaps then what may assist is I could simply refer them, which is a public document, which I understand the Commission has, which is the Australian Government's response in September 2017 to the Community Affairs Reference Committee report on page... I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry again, Commissioner, that again trespasses on the prohibition in the Parliamentary Privileges Act. That's a submission to a committee of the Senate. You, Mr Morrison, you can't advert in this Commission to documents which were before Parliament. That's not the Commission's doing. That's the subject of Parli Parliament's own legislation. Um, so, and... <laughs> One might have thought that as a parliamentarian you'd appreciate the significance of parliamentary privilege. Commission. Anyway, it seems that we may be able to get these documents in some other form, so we'll see what we can do. Commissioner, I, I think there may be some confusion about the document I'm now seeking to quote from. Isn't it the submission to the Senate? No. This is the Australian Government's response, which is a public document, to a committee report. So it's a statement issued by the Government publicly. That's all I'm referring to. I understand the point you make about matters on Hansard, and I'm happy for that to be progressed in the way that you've suggested. 
I'm simply now referring to a public document, which was the Australian government's response. Uh, Mr Morrison was seeking to refer to an Australian government response to a parliamentary report. Mr Glover's taken objection and with respect that objection was well made. So we don't contest that Mr Morrison cannot uh, refer to this because the Parliamentary Privileges Act prevents it. Yes, thank you. And this based on her evidence, because I was unaware. Oh, look, could we just have your evidence, Mr Morrison? Never mind Ms Wilson's evidence. Just answer the question if you could. Um, Ms. Do you want it again? That is my evidence. Yes, that may not be my question, though. Well, my question I, is... No, please don't interrupt me. I have given you the courtesy of not interrupting your answers. I expect the same, Mr Morrison. Fair, en fair enough? Happy to do so. Thank you. At no point did DHS ever say to any minister that this Mr. was Morrison, unlawful. This has got nothing to do with the question you were asked. They never expressed that view. Look, I think you're going much further than the width of the question. I don't know what it is you're trying to preempt here. I think the problem is more um, what it had to do with the question asked, which I conclude was nil. Mr Gregory, have you got another question? Yes. A suggestion that you already have money available to deal with compliance. It was a very standard... Please let me finish. I'm, I'm sorry, I thought you had. And one, I now am in a position. Please let me finish, Mr. Morrison. I can see you're gearing up again. Proposal and send it to your department on the third well, on the third of, of March. Please don't interrupt me, Mr. Morrison. You're doing it again. Courtesy. You agreed to it. I'm you can't. I, please don't interrupt me, Mr. Morrison. So to suggest that this wasn't a process that was being followed by the department at the time and for some time, well, you may have a different view about that. And it may not suit the, uh, the position, but that was the case. Mr Morrison, can I just take up with you something you suggested about my position in your answer? Where you said that I may have a different view about that and it may not suit. And I assure you, my questions are directed towards the gathering of evidence, not my personal view. Of course. Just the, it's the second time you've said it and you should be clear about my position.